Dana with The Best Life. Today I'm here to show you how to create a basic balloon column. Today is my son's sixth birthday party, a very small gathering, and I'm going to take you along with me as I create this balloon column. So stay watching. Hey guys, this is Dana with The Best Life and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified on new videos. Smooches. So I've gone along and I've already uh, inflated a few balloons already. Guys, I'm working with these are 12 inch helium, not helium, these are 12 inch latex balloons and I'm using a handheld pump. Let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna inflate this and try to be consistent. I'm going to use the pump and maybe use it for about a press of 26 times. And as I go through the other four, I'm going to just make sure they're all about the same, um, same dimension. So here we go. About 30 pumps that I use for that. So I'm gonna tie this up. quickly gather my balloons and attach two together with a basic tie just like this I have one more on the ground And then what I'm going to do with my two sets of balloons, I'm just going to twist them together. And this will be one of my bases, just like that. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the other balloons I have on the floor. Now I'm on the ground with my four sets of balloons. So I have one set of blue, or two sets of blues, and two yellows. Because I am indoors for this little gathering, I am not gonna put any weights to the bottom, but if you were going to have this outside, or if you're gonna use this uh, balloon column outside, I would highly recommend that you attach weights at the very bottom. That is very easy. I would just go ahead and put a little bit of water into a balloon, tie the balloon together, and attach the weight right here. But right now I'm gonna go ahead creating my tower.
myself a very basic balloon column for my son. Um, I've once again gone ahead and used two sets of colors and they are in groups of fours going around. Now, all I pretty much did with the ribbon was find a way to secure to the balloon column itself. I kept on going around and tying it and, and knotting it and going through. And that's the reason why this is secured and my balloons are not detaching right now. Um, you just go ahead and you make it work for you. What I plan to do with this is I will have a helium uh, balloon that I'm going to attach to this and I will show you a finished look on that. I don't have it just yet, so I am going to have a CARS helium balloon attached to the very top to make it a little more grand. Once I have that balloon, I am going to attach it and I'm gonna come back and show you how it looks. Back with the finished look for my balloon column. And I have a bouquet already prepared three inflated balloons that are helium based and two that are just hand pumped and all I'm going to do right now is so here's my column right here I do not have it weighed down simply because I am in the house and it's not going anywhere I, I'm gonna go in right now and secure my balloons to the columns I'm just going in and giving it a simple knot. So let me bring the camera a little lower for you to see. Just gonna give it a quick little knot. Nothing fancy. Just trying to secure, that's it. This is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, life is what you make of it. Always has been, always will be. Mwah! Smooches and tell.